Phrylocracy, or rules of friars, started during the late 15th century when Patronato Real was granted. The system bestowed the complete control over the church in the Philippines to the Spanish crown. Religion became a means of government and the clergy were the employees. When Charles III inaugurated the politico-ecclesiastical policy, control over the church was wholly subjected to the Spaniards. In order for these friars to be more sustainable in the Philippines, friar lands were granted to them. They became owners of land estates and merchants. They became not only economically but as well as politically influential. Within the administration of the Patronato Real, the friars maintained their authority through the issuance of three controversial cedulas in July of 1826, March of 1849, and September of 1861. These events gave rise of the Cavete Mutiny, which led to the execution of Father Mariano Gomez, Father Jose Burgos, and Father Jacinto Zamora, or popularly known as the Gomborza. This was ordered by the Governor General Esquerdo under the pretense that it was part of a much larger revolt whereby the conspiracy of a new permanent government was to be formed under Father Jose Burgos. Friar powers was evident in all of the one of which when Ibarra knew that his father Don Rafael was tangled with the friars in his hometown of San Diego. Because of his views about the church and his commitment in helping poor children attend secular schools, he eventually died in prison because the church labeled him as heretic and subversive. To make matters worse, Ibarra finds out that the unbearable Father Damaso ordered Don Rafael's body to be exhumed from the Catholic cemetery. Father Damaso justifies his action by saying that when a friar exhumes a body, even a king cannot complain, let alone impose punishment. This means that Father Damaso sees himself as even more powerful than the King of Spain. His confidence shows how powerful friars are.